Welcome back to first round coverage of the 2021 Southwind Dad Jokes Tournament. Today, I'm joined by a special guest host in Jason Turkelson. And, you know, Turk, a lot of people thought it was too early for you to join the booth. But, uh, you know, here you are. You know, welcome. How are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing fantastic. You know, uh, a lot of great Hall of Famers have graced this booth. Uh, Tony Romo, Troy Aikman, uh, and then you have others like Jeff Scott, Aaron Hosack. Uh, you know, but obviously my potential is behind the camera, and I think it's meant to be right here. Yeah, or you, you know, you could say you're like Charles Barkley, um, you know, never won a ring, never won a championship, but uh, you're already in the booth. What do you think about that? Uh, Charles Barkley's in the Hall of Fame, and he's a pretty impressive guy. So. Oh, okay. Before we introduce tonight's matchup, let's take a look at the upcoming bracket and the Elite Eight that is forming. Turk, just looking at this right now, what matchups are sticking out to you? Uh, you know, really for me, it's going to be in Cincinnati. My man Marlon, the Cincinnati Slayer Williams. Uh, you know, he's got the charisma. He's got the he's got the jokes. He's got the delivery. And he's going up against... Uh, who's in Omaha? Uh, Corey McLaughlin. Corey McLaughlin. Who the fuck is that guy, right? I'm sure he has a legitimate shot, but if I'm putting my money on somebody, it's going to be on Marlon Williams. Okay, good insight. And now let's introduce tonight's matchup. Out of Atlanta Northeast, we have Stacia proving that you don't have to be a dad to come with the dad jokes, Curran, and she is going up against my main man up in Michigan, which is Matt, the Michigan man McKinney. Contrary to popular belief, he's not related to Dan McKinney, but I still look forward to his jokes. He's a dad, he's a funny guy. I can't wait to see what he does. And now, live from the Dad Jokes Arena, it's the final first round matchup between Grand Rapids and Atlanta Northeast. So Matt, why can't you play football in the jungle? Why? Because there's too many cheetahs. What do you call a small mom? I don't know, what? Minimum. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, so really cool story. Um, you know, the city of Atlanta is really, really big. So do you know who I saw today? Who did you see today? Everybody that I looked at. Every single one of them. Um, what are the best kind of flowers on Mother's Day? Any flowers. Mums. Ooh. You got like a little theme going on here. I like it. Yeah, I, I can do. appreciate I'm trying that. To, you know, trying to play to my crowd. I like it. Okay, so um, this is a little bit more personal, but I have wanted to start getting back into an active lifestyle. And I really wanted to go on a diet, but I just have way too much on my plate right now. <laughs> okay. Um, speaking of food, why did the bean children give a jacket to their mother? I don't know. Because she was chilly. Ooh, I like that one a lot. That's good. All right, so a date night idea for you and your wife. Casey and I recently just went uh, to go see a magic show. And there was a Hispanic magician that was up on stage. He was doing a disappearing act. So he said, uno, dos, and then he disappeared without a trace. I like it. That's I, like my favorite. That I like that one. Put that all together. Why is a computer so smart? I don't know why. Because it listens to its motherboard. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So a sheep walks into a bar in Boston. The bartender greets him and says, welcome to my bar. Nice accent. That was, that was a legit Boston accent right there. Thank like you. That. What was Cleopatra's favorite day of the year? Mm, I have no idea. Mummy's day. Oh, dang. Did you like get on a website? Just I like I need to just answer with anything mom related. Exactly. I did. I, went, I did do that. And OK, so do you know how basketball players 
stay cool during the game? I do not. They stand next to their fans. They do stand next to their fans. So uh, yesterday, um, I was shopping around online and I ordered a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know which one comes first. Ooh, I, would, I would actually love to know. <laughs> okay, my last one. Uh, what sport do fish love to play? I don't know. Basketball. I got that. Got that one. Um, what did the spider, the baby spider, let me restart this. What did the mommy spider say to the baby spider? I don't know what. You spend too much time on the web. True. And wow, history has been made in Dad Jokes Arena as Stacia Curran becomes the first woman to ever win in the Dad Jokes Tournament. Wow, Matt, I mean, your dad, Steve, he must be really disappointed. And with Stacia winning tonight, it sets up an Elite Eight matchup with her own husband. And Turk, I know you're a licensed marriage counselor. What kind of tips can you give them going into their battle in the upcoming weeks? You know, it's all about three letters. PAL. P-A-L. Provide, affection, and listening. If you do that, happy wife, happy life. All right, Turk, anything else before we close tonight? Yeah, I mean, I just want to say this is where I deserve, this is where I belong. This is what I'm good at. This is I got the look, I got the charisma. This is what I do. Turk, what are you doing? I got, Jesus! I got, I got, oh my God! We're not a junk business. We got a million dollars going on, and you're in here 